Okay, so hi there, hello, it's me, it's Kieran, and today, I keep looking at the screen to see what I look like, today, I'm going to, <laughs> we're going to do an art, art review of my calendar, I've got a Salvador Dali calendar, yeah, so I thought today, I'd make the channel a bit more artistic, we discuss some themes I think I see in this painting, this painting replica that I have on this calendar for, for April, or A Avril, shout out to Avril Lavigne, or April, if you, I think that's French, no that's Avril I think, April must be Spanish, yeah cause see, Mon de Lune de Lunes, Lunes is Spanish, and Lundi is French, anyway, I'm not talking about April, we're talking about this piece of picture, that whoever makes the Salvador, Cali Cal Salvador Dali calendar, decided was for January. No, January was the, you know, the basic clocks melting. February is your, it's a rose, kind of romantic for Valentine's Day month. March, well is this one is really weird actually. There's like elephants, but they're actually swans as well. And the trees are the elephant's legs in the water because it's all reflected. And there's this guy, he's just kind of chilling, smoking or something. Uh, yeah. Anyway, today we're talking about April's picture. I don't know what it's called. Doesn't say anywhere on it. Maybe it's at the back. It says, "Oh, spoilers! You want to see that one?" Dream caused by the flight of a bee around the pomegranate one second before waking up, from 1944. So that's one heck of a title, isn't it? Dream caused by the flight of a bee around the pomegranate one second before waking up. So, with that title in mind, let's look at this and analyse. So, to start off, first thing you notice, tigers. What are they doing there? That one's got a musket of some sort with a bit of bayonet. And, oh, I don't know if I can show this. This is art, YouTube. If I get banned, if I go down for this, maybe I'll blur that. Because, like... Well, see, there's no... Oh, no. I, yeah, so there's the breast of the woman. The the tigers, they, they're jumping out of this fish. Well, one of them is. And then this tiger's jumping out of that tiger's mouth. See that? And then this, but this fish is coming out of the pomegranate. Hence hence the title of the, of the, the picture. Oh, and look, down there, I haven't noticed this before because it's so small. There is... It's kind of weird, this angle. There's the bee. And there's the pomegranate. So that's the ti that's the titular bee in pomegranate. I don't know. Okay, anyway. That seems to be floating above some kind of ice or rock. I'm not sure. Um, and then that is floating on the water. So I'm inclined to think it's ice. But then again, look. There's a rock. See that? And over here, there's more rocks. And then there's this elephant on stilts with a big, uh, big old piece of rock or ice on his back. Anyway, um, what does this picture represent? Oh, did I mention the naked woman? Yeah, she's there too. She's going to get gutted in the neck by the bayonet that's coming from the tiger. So, if I was Dali and I made this picture about pomegranates and bees, how would I describe it? How would I say? Hello, I am Dali. No, he's not French. He's Spanish. Did you know that? He's Spanish. No, I can't do Spanish. I can do... Hey, Arriba! Arriba! This is my uh, picture! Picture, picture, pic, picture! That's racist, so... Cut! Cut that! Cut that! Anyway... So... I think he hates... He hates either pomegranates or women. It could be both. But I don't think he hates women. I don't want to make those kind of accusations. Because he loves women, I'm sure. See, even down here, his signature. Salvador Dali. And you can't see it because my camera's so bad. Gala. Gala was like his... If I if I remember right. Gala is his kind of wife. Or GF. Goth big today. Goth no. Anyway. Uh, moving on. Back to the picture, back to the thing at hand. See, I think he hates pomegranates because 
he is showing that if you open the pomegranate up, you get you get the seeds. Yeah, sure, you get the seeds, and they're I'm sure they're lovely. I've never had them. A giant goldfish will come out, and you might think, hey, sweet goldfish, nice pet. But then out of that goldfish comes a, a a tiger, big old daddy tiger, and then you think, whoa, hold on, I didn't sign up for this. I signed up for pomegranate. Then out of that tiger, you get another tiger. And then you're thinking, oh my god, two tigers? What do you do in that situation? But then, you think, I'll use a gun. I'll shoot the tigers. You can't. They've got a gun too. What do you do then? You can't. You can't do anything. So, you're there, you're sunbathing on the ice, naked, and you're a woman. You've got your hair tied up like, like that. You got all this going on, and then you're just dead. You're killed. You're killed by the pomegranate because of the 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 gun that came from the tiger, that came from the tiger, that came from the fish, that came from the pomegranate. You know what I'm saying? And then there's the bee. Where does the bee come into all this? What makes it a bee's dream? Why would a bee dream of this? It was about a dream, a bee, right? I'm not making that up. I don't want to see the other pictures, but I want to see, I mean, I've, it, it's not like, these have been out for, like, what, 60 years, some of these pictures, it's not like I'm getting spoiled, 70 in some cases, like this one, 44, 74 years ago. <sighs> okay, where are we looking? Dream caused by the flight of a bee around a pomegranate, one second. Oh, so it's not necessarily the bee's dream, it could be her dream, but it's caused by... The bee flying around the pomegranate. So maybe that's saying she saw the bee flying around the pomegranate. And maybe she thought, hmm, why would the bee fly around the pomegranate? Maybe the bee knows what's inside and he's like a guardian. He keeps the fish tiger tiger gun sealed inside the pomegranate. And if you kill the bees, if the bees die, one, there's no honey. Two, You've seen B movie and you need honey. Three, the pomegranate monsters will be released. And four, the world ends. That's what happens. So maybe that's what happened. The bees have all died. The elephants are like, oh man, you guys are screwed. We're out of here. They they adapt. They evolve to have big tilt, big stilts. He's laughing. He's like, oh lol, you guys messed up big time. I'm out of here. And then she's like. Bees are all dead. They're dead. I can't believe it. The hordes have been released. The fish, fish, tiger, tiger guns. It's too late for humanity. We can't be saved. It's over. So she's sitting there naked, accepting her fate. I imagine she's not fighting. The the, the bayonet isn't going into her neck. It's going into her arm. Maybe that represents the bee getting stung by a bee. A bayonet? Because it feels like a bayonet. I was stung by a bee when I was like 10. It felt like a bayonet. And there's these floating water droplets around. Maybe that represents global warming. I don't know. That's what. I'm, that's why. I'm, that's why I'm doing this. I'm trying to culturally enlighten the channel or something. There's no clouds. There is a moon though. There's a moon. Half a, a half moon. I think that's a moon. It's just kind of a shape. What do you guys think? Looks like a moon to me. It's next to this rock outcropping that just seems to kind of be there for the sake of it. I'm not quite sure really why that's there. I'm not an artist. I couldn't draw anything like this. I could maybe draw a fish. Wouldn't be a very good fish. But it would be a fish. I wouldn't be able to draw a tiger coming out of a tiger coming out of a fish coming out of a pomegranate. I mean, that, that first tiger has a gun. That is out of my... That's out of my limit there. 